Hi there folks and welcome back to Air Gun Reporter. My name is Paul Capello. For today's episode, we're gonna check out the Umarex SA177 BB repeater. Let's go ahead and check it out. For folks interested in firearms, the first thing you'll recognize about the Umarex SA177 is that it kind of looks like a Glock 17. Let's go over some features. Firstly here we have a drop free magazine. This holds 20 BBs and has a lockdown follower spring. Also, blowback action. This is a nice metal slide, which is unusual to find on a sub $100 BB repeater. This is well under $100, probably around 50 bucks. It also has a fiber optic rear sight, and the front sight is not fiber optic, it's just white plastic. It also has an accessory rail up front here if you want to put a laser or a flashlight, make things look really cool. The first thing we're going to do is see how fast it shoots. So let's go ahead and use the crani and test this puppy out. We have about three Umarex SA177s in the studio and a couple of them are pre-production models like this one here. At your retailer, you can expect to find them in a clamshell package like this. Let's open up a brand new one and I'll show you how to load it. easy. Inside I've got the Pyramid Air 10 for 10 certificate. For 10 bucks they run a number of tests on your air gun. They've shot 10 shots through the crani. They've included the chronograph results tape right here. And they've also checked that it cocks and it fires for all shots. They checked uh, that the trigger functions properly. And they checked it for leaks which is a cool thing. It's also dated. It gives the model number up here, gives the serial number, type of BB or pellet they'll use for the test, and it's also signed by the tester, which is really cool. And there you have it. That's the Pyramid Air 10 for 10 test certificate. The first thing we need to do is get some CO2 inside this puppy, and we'll load up the magazine, and we'll fire some shots over the crani. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do, of course, is make sure it's on safe, and the safety is located right here above the trigger guard. That's fire and that's safe. We're good to go. Next, I'm gonna drop out the magazine, put that aside, and there's a little button you press back here, lifts up the back of the grip. That's where your CO2 goes. Put your CO2 up in there, close it, flip it around. You'll see the key here for tightening it down. Now, one thing I have to tell you is to Tighten it slowly at first until it catches the end of the cartridge, and then go quickly. If you do it slow, you're just going to empty out your cartridge. So here it goes. And that's it. Put that aside. Next, we're going to load up magazine. And that's just a matter of putting BBs right inside this little hole here. Put your BBs inside there. Like I said, there's 20. So let's go ahead and load it up. Okay, we have a fresh CO2 cartridge in the Umarex SA177. Let me go ahead and put a magazine in. I'm going to be shooting about every 10 seconds over the crani. I don't want the CO2 inside here to get too cold. Otherwise, we might see a sharp dip in velocity. Let's see what happens. Line it up right. All CO2 powered air guns and BB repeaters depend on the temperature for velocity and power. It's about 75 degrees out here today, so we saw some pretty interesting numbers. Now I meant to shoot a string of 10 shots, but it looked like my velocity was increasing, so I went all the way to 15 shots. We have a low number of 384 feet per second, a high of 437, with an average of 415 feet per second. On the packaging, it says it does an average of 380 feet per second. So we did a little bit better than that. Now it's time to move on to the accuracy testing. Let me get a fresh CO2 cartridge in there, a target downrange, and we'll see how we do. All right, we have a fresh CO2 cartridge in the Umarex SA177, and a magazine with about 20 shots in it. 
Our target's 15 feet away. Let's see how I do. Take it off safe there. Now, this is a double action only pistol, so the trigger is a little bit heavy. We'll see if we can measure it after we do the accuracy testing. Well, it looks like the Umarex SA-177 just earned its keep here at Airgun Reporter Studios. We've got a nice little group going here. Look at that, 16 shots. Only two are borderline of the bullseye here. The majority is located right here. That's about, uh, I think it's about 16 or 20 shots. I forget how many I put in the magazine. Let me do this. Let me go ahead and try to do some rapid fire shooting and see if we can get the same kind of accuracy. One cool feature I like about the Umarex SA-177 is the fact that the slide locks up when you're bingo on ammo. You're not going to waste any CO2. You know when it's time to reload. Let's go ahead and do some rapid fire shooting. Again, this trigger is a little bit heavy, so let's see how we do. Well, I didn't do quite as good as the slow and steady shooting, but we managed to keep it inside the nine ring here, so it's still not bad. Now it's time to check out how many shots per CO2 cartridge we get with the Umarex SA-177. All right, I have a fresh CO2 cartridge. Let me tighten that down. Again, turn it slowly until it catches the bottom of the cartridge, and then quickly, like that. If you do it slow, that gas is gonna come out. All right. Got my magazines with about 20 shots apiece. Let's shoot until the velocity drops off and the accuracy drops off as well. All right, once again, I have to mention that the accuracy of the Umbrex SA-177 is pretty darn good. Here we have 100 shots, only 10 of them are outside of the red bullseye. That's pretty good. After 100 shots, the slide was moving back really slowly. So I guess one cartridge is good for only about 100 shots. Let's go ahead and see if we can test out this trigger. Okay, before we test the trigger, let's take a closer look at it. If you check it out, you'll see it has a double blade design, just like a real firearm. But in this case, it doesn't do anything. This is just for show here. With a firearm, it prevents the trigger from going off if the pistol is dropped. Let's go ahead, get our trigger gauge ready. Look at that. The average is 8 pounds, 2 ounces. Lighter than I expected. I thought it to be up there around 10 or 11 pounds. Well, folks, this is the part of the show where we usually do the sound testing, but I have to say the Umarex SA-177 is no louder than, say, a heavy-duty staple gun, so I'm not going to waste your time and mine doing such a test. I have to tell you, BB repeaters are not my favorite type of air gun, but when you come across one like this that's under 50 bucks and has the accuracy we've seen here today, it makes it all worth it. For Air Gun Reporter, my name is Paul Capello. Until next time, shoot safe and have fun. Please remember folks, air guns are not toys. Even the smallest calibers can cause serious injury if not used properly. And you should never, under any circumstance, point an air gun at a person. Parents, if you teach your children to shoot responsibly, they will have a lifetime of air gun enjoyment.